Alright guys, we are at the end of our treasure box DLC, and our last boy, Chikage Kazuma. Everybody's favorite demon. So, let's see what his extra little story is. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for like a wedding thing maybe, the wedding that we were gypped of in his route. But considering all these stories have taken place in the middle of the roots, probably not going to get that. Oh well, let's see what he is going to do. <laughs> okay, so we're not in Ezo yet. Gotcha. Here we go. Sendai was warm and temperate on this summer's eve, and we were still struggling to find a vessel to bring us to Ezo and reunite with the Shin Sengumi. All right, we're in our domestic mode. Great. That, that's you know what? That's that's a close second because I wanted more husband wife shenanigans. <laughs> so let's see what we got. I'm back, Yukimura. I hope for your sake that supper is ready. My hunger is insatiable. Yes, give me a moment. I'll prepare it at once. <laughs> what are you laughing about in there? Seems that I've finally broken you, whereas you were once feisty and demure. Feisty and demure? As of late, you have rightfully accepted me as your husband and the servitude that follows. Dang. Well, boy was very well aware of what was going on here. <laughs> He's just been training her slowly. Whose husband? Am I wrong? Do you make dinner for every man who pays you any modicum of attention? Well, this is kind of awkward, because I just got off of Ryoma's treasure box DLC where I made him some dinner, and I also made dinner for Soji, and but I've made dinner for quite a few people. Well, no, I didn't say that. I'm merely returning a courtesy since you were so generous in taking me in. I decided to handle the housework. It's an exchange. Aw, oh, come to think of it. You were used to performing servant work under the custody of the Shinsengumi, weren't you? Ugh. How dare those worthless dogs treat a woman of your ilk with such disregard. Him. Those slimy, contemptuous insects. If only they could taste the end of my blade. All right, don't say that. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> this line. Oh, this boy kills me. Shut up and bring my supper to me, woman. My mood sours the longer I go hungry. Yeah, yeah, I know you get hangry. Okay, pushy. I mean, he's the one who entered the room and began speaking combatively to me, mentoring husbands and wives and things. His pompousness knew no limits, and I scoffed in the other room. <laughs> Although I was grateful for his hospitality, when he got into these aggressive moods, I felt inclined to give him a taste of his own medicine. Do it, girl. <laughs> Apologies for keeping you waiting, Kazuma. Here you go. I set down a tray of pickled plum, grilled fish, rice, and soup in front of him. Ah! I must you fall. I snagged my foot on the mat and tripped before spilling the tray's contents on the floor. Watch out! Cosma had caught my body as I fell in his direction, but... The miso soup, which had still been scalding, splashed onto the back of my hand. This boy's reflexes, he catches her so easily. Wow. Are you hurt? Give it here. It's all right. It's a little burned, but if I put a cold compress on it, the swelling will reduce. Put what on it? Can't you see the damage that your clumsiness does? Be more careful from now on. Why are you being such a jerk? It's not like I spent all that time in the kitchen just to drop the food and piss you off. Well, don't you think you should treat your body with some dignity? You aren't some woman off the street. 
You are a demon. A lineage that comes with responsibility. There aren't many of you left in this country. Injuring yourself so recklessly... <laughs> Why are you scowling? Are you in disagreement with me? Um... Stop me if I'm wrong, but... Is this just your way of telling me that you're concerned about me? <laughs> Kazuma furrowed his brow deep enough to hide himself inside of it. <laughs> That's a deep furrowed brow. The head of the Yukimura clan should not sully herself with such needless sentiments. <laughs> Steps back. I will clean the mess you've made. Go out a cold whatever on your burn. Oh. What is it now? Still want to complain? Oh, no. Th thank you, Kazuma. I am not your parent. This is the last time I plan on paying for your gross negligence. With that, Kazuma lifted all of the dishes into his arms and stormed into the kitchen. Baka. While his sarcastic tone of voice had run me the wrong way tonight, he had his own way of showing how much he cared. From now, I suppose it was worth it for me to take better care of myself, if not just for my sake. You gotta be careful, silly. What if he's not around to catch you when you trip and fall? <laughs> oh, I love that boy. They are so good. They are such a perfect married couple. <laughs> so it's not even funny. And this is lit up. Let's see what this is. Uh, how do I hide this again? Is it? No, that's the wrong one. Whoa, what happened? Where am I? What did I click on? No. I don't want to do this again. Yes. I want to do the picture. Thank you. There we go. Look at all our beautiful boys. Look at the smug face on Sanon. <laughs> what is the face you're making, my boy? Oh, it's so funny. Oh, everybody else looks great. I mean... Ryoma kind of looks like he's having a stroke, but otherwise, <laughs> this face is killing me, though. This is the nicest smile I've ever seen from Chikage. Let's just put that out there. Oh, that's so funny, though. Oh, yay! What a treasure that was. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me for the Treasure Box DLC. That was a lot of fun. Some really cute great extra stories some surprising stuff that happened um so yeah that's that for now with the uh, edo blossoms we are going to go back now to england exchange for one last route miss jihyo i'm hoping that there's more differences with her than there was with mark but who can say we can hope though we can hope so yeah, hopefully I'll see you over there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me for this once again, and until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>